Okay, this is a video for Lidmotor, who was wanting to see my Arduino powered plane. And, and this is it. And how this came about was, um, I bought one of these for $9.95 for the airframe and I got the electronics and, and I had some trouble flying it, the thing seemed too twitchy. So I thought, well, hang on a minute, I don't want to ruin it, so why don't I try and train myself up a bit on a bit faster aircraft, same thing, uh, but built by myself. And also was able to then try out things like a different kind of a wing and uh, see if that might help the performance of this one. Anyway, uh, the other thought was, well, why not write my own code for it and put an Arduino inside? So what we've got is similar to this. This is an Arduino uh, Pro Mini. And inside there is a Nano, but they're quite similar and a lot smaller than the Uno types. On the back of this, we've got an NRF 24L01, and that's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless module. So the other part of the whole thing will be how to transmit signals. And this is a 72 megahertz converted transmitter to now be 2.4 gigahertz with another Arduino inside and another 24, another NRF 24L01. And so what we've got is, uh, well, we've got the throttle, we've got rudder, all proportional, and we've got elevator. But also, doing all the coding myself, We've also got guns. <laughs> so there we are. And a good friend asked me to get some footage, um, he's into aircraft, of, uh, of this doing a strafe pass with the guns blazing. So I managed to get that recently and uh, I'll show that bit of video. But next up what I'll do is uh, show the inside of this and then the underneath the internals of the plane and then the flight footage. Right, so here is the inside of the transmitter. Um, got a cable here that allows this back part to detach. I'm only using four AAs instead of the eight that the uh, transmitter used to use. Um, all needs a bit of cleaning up yet and, and what have you, but um, there's the main board there with the, uh, the Arduino on it. I've got a voltage regulator on it and uh, also the, 24, the NRF 24L01. Um, I've got a small extension wire coming from the 2.4 gigahertz unit of 83 millimeters and that's giving me well at least about 250 feet um, on the ground and then up in the air that all increases quite a lot uh, and also the the board is angled uh, for when I'm flying around in the air this actually doesn't do a great deal of anything uh, unfortunately it's uh, it's off an old Wi-Fi router <laughs> but the power um, lights on the transmitter you might have seen the two red lights that were on that's still functional from the old transmitter, so it gives me a power level reading. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it on the transmitter. Uh, moving to the plane itself, the wings um, are, I've got magnets on, so they come straight off, and also the plugs just attach for, well, for the guns. And uh, underneath here, this isn't very well made at all, but the idea is to crash it. Um, you can see inside, there we've got the radio module, the Arduino, and connecting up with the three pin plugs as usual with RC equipment. Uh, also got the 10 amp ESC there leading out to the motor. So uh, there we are, that's the overview of the system and uh, next I'll show it flying. I'll show the maiden flight where it just had the rudder, didn't have the elevator on it and then after that I'll show the strafing run with the guns going. Okay, thanks for watching.